Hi, I'm Spencer Wall with Wall Realty Group based in Laguna Beach, California. And I want to say that I think worldwide Laguna Beach is known as a pretty nice place. But are there any negatives to Laguna Beach? Just like anywhere on planet Earth, there are negatives. And today I'm going to go over the five negatives of Laguna Beach. Number one, tourism. In Laguna Beach, the city welcomes over seven million tourists per year. That's a lot of people by any standard and more than Yosemite National Park on an annual basis. In the summer months, June, July, August, the Pacific Coast Highway and Canyon Road can be bumper to bumper and traffic is a true nightmare some days. You gotta plan accordingly and plan for traffic in the summer months, always. I love seeing lots and lots of people enjoying themselves in Laguna, but if crowds are not your thing, the summer tourism can definitely be seen as a negative. Number two negative about Laguna Beach, housing prices. If you wanna live here, it's not that easy. You gotta pay for it. With the average sale price right now in Laguna being in the multi-millions, north of $3 million, buying a house isn't for everybody. With the average median rent to 10,500 per month, just choosing to live here might not be for everybody and can be seen as a negative. The third negative of Laguna Beach, suburbia doesn't live here. Now, if you're the type of person that is used to the suburban lifestyle, moving to Laguna might be an adjustment. In many cities around the nation, you can expect strip malls or those big box national brands, franchises, and, and well-known eateries. Laguna is quite the opposite. With most service providers, shopping, restaurants, and entertainment being locally owned, often unique, and one of a kind. So instead of knowing what to expect when you drive into the parking lot, you may have to ask a neighbor or a local walking on the street and say, hey, where's the best place to get a burger or yogurt or be entertained? And I think that's a cool thing, but might not be for you. Now the fourth potential negative of Laguna Beach is entry and exit by car. We only have three ways to enter the seaside community, down the canyon or north on PCH or south. So unless you have a helicopter or boat and you're car bound, Coming in and out of town can be difficult, especially during the summer traffic. So if you're looking for a smooth and predictable road travel, plan accordingly. And the fifth negative of living or visiting Laguna Beach, parking. Most people do come in cars, as I mentioned, and there's a lot of people that want to visit here. All of them that are bound to car have to find a place to park. If you're planning to visit Laguna Beach for a weekend dinner, day at the beach, plan for parking accordingly so your dreamy vision of a day in Laguna doesn't become a nightmare. So those are the negatives of living or visiting Laguna Beach. Don't let them scare you though. I highly encourage you to visit this beautiful seaside town. The pros by far outweigh the negatives, but I want you to come check it out for yourself. I'm Spencer Wall with Wall Realty Group based in Laguna Beach. If you have any questions about the town, any questions about real estate, message me directly. I look forward to your call or your message. And also, if you like this video, feel free to hit subscribe, share it with a friend, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.